If you see through everything and beauty emerges, I will be free. Safe, you keep in touch across time. Hey y'all, it's me, Linda and your treasure, coming to you today from my kitchen book nook. So this has been my second full week back at work and let me tell you <laughs> it has been more than a notion all right so it's been good though it's been very good but it's just a very physically taxing mentally and emotionally taxing job so you, you you've got to know uh, what you're getting yourself into when you become a teacher, but I would give myself overall I will I will grade myself for this these two weeks an A and overall a probably an A minus um, on my preparedness planning the preparation aspects I will give myself an A um, for my Remembering the students' names, I remembered every student name by today. Today was my deadline. I know all 60 of my students' names, and I credit the old index card trick to help you plan your seating charts. My seating charts are finished. I even made adjustments to my seating charts. And I knew the students' names. I knew their uh, their behaviors. And excuse me for doing my eye, but my eye, I've got some trying to get in it. So it really does, that strategy just really was helpful. So I give myself an A on that aspect of remembering all their names. Um, let's see, Wednesday, I already told you all that Wednesday was a little bit tough. Wednesday was library day. And... Um, that meant I was doing a lot more moving around up and down the steps and for some reason I was just really really tired on Wednesday at the end of Wednesday so other than that um, it's been a very very good week so I'm glad today was a uh, staff development day and grading day so I was able to get the grades done and I was very proud of myself that in two weeks I was able to do some on some um, quick assessments and some assessments for learning just to better understand these students abilities and you know where they are in certain um, aspects of reading and writing and that was very helpful to me to get a picture of their learning style their approach to learning um, give me just a glimpse of their habits and um, you know I got to see their penmanship and stuff like that you know their use of grammar and read some of their ideas and, and all that, those aspects so that was pretty good I was <coughs> I was quite quite pleased with the um, quick assessments that I was able to do this yeah. week but um, other than that, I'm going to Cardiac Fitness today. I'm going to make my session. And then I'm going to talk to the ladies about, um, I don't know. I'm going to try to make the 12 weeks. I'm on week, this is week five. And last week was week four, so this is week five, which means I'm only attending one session out of week five. Um, and I'm not even halfway there. I have 12 weeks to attend um, to complete the program so I really my goal is really to complete the program but realistically speaking I'll just have to see there there are a couple of exercises that I really enjoy there I enjoy the treadmill I really I am in love with that crank machine there's a machine that we crank 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 I love that machine <laughs> It's just repetitive, five minutes cranking, but I just love it. I feel that it really is strengthening my upper body, so I don't know. I really want to finish the 12 weeks. I hope I can. If, if I cannot, then, you know, I cannot, but I really hope that I can. 
I choose to finish. But if reality says that um, my schedule won't allow me to, I don't know. I can't. I guess I cannot force my body to do that after. I don't my know. My grandson's we'll see. birthday we'll party see. is coming up soon. Oh, I'm so excited! My grandson will be a year old. Oh my goodness, he is just a joy. <laughs> He is a joy. And, um, yeah. Oh, I stopped by. I went, well, I'm not going to call it junking. I, I'm not calling it junking. I went to, um, it's a resale shop, but they do consignments. And they have some of the nicest quality furniture and household items. And it's really nice. Really nice. So I got um, a cheap teacher bag or I guess I could call it a grocery bag I don't know it's um, what is it made out of a canvas type material and I guess I can keep it in the car for when I go grocery shopping and then I can just I can't lift over 50 pounds I I try to limit myself to 25 but the doctor restricted me to 50 so I just have to be very conscious not to load that bag over you know 25 pounds and then um, I got a wrought iron little shelf that I'm going to use in my classroom for my students' writing journals. And then I found a paper towel holder that's like wrought iron. Really nice. So, yeah, I think I spent under 20 bucks for those three items because the canvas bag was brand new and it was $7.99. Originally like $19.99, then <coughs> marked down to 10 and then mark down to $7.99. Okay, well, I better go. My throat is dry and <coughs> I'm coughing and yeah. <coughs> all right, you all. Thank you for watching. Hey, I started a blog, you all. I finally started my blog. So check out, it's at um, Blogspot, Lynn Danielle Treasure Diva at blogspot.com. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, just check it out. I put on there my daily walks at the trail, pictures that I take. That's really the only place that I could share my pictures other than Facebook um, and Twitter, I guess. I haven't shared very many on Twitter. But, yeah, stop by and check out my blog. And, um, yeah, I think you'll like it. I just started it because I thought it was the next step to do. So, okay? All right, got to go. I got some things to do. Love you. Be blessed. Thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. <laughs> Bye. If you see through everything and beauty emerges, I will be free. Safe. You keep in touch. Across time. Okay, so I think that's it. I'm not going to ramble too much more.